I, I'm Bill Landon. I've been driving over the road since 1975. I've been with Mercer for seven years now, and they started this electronic log stuff, and I was totally against it. I just didn't want DOT or anybody to know where I'm at, what I'm doing, or anything else. I, like I said, I've been doing it for almost a year now, and I love it. I save more hours on my weekly log just by using the electronic log and it's just so simple that it's scary. This has helped me because of my age and you think it's going to take away from your business because everybody's going to be monitoring you. They're not monitoring you. It's just a log book like you do on the paper. It has not changed. This is nothing like the others. The other electronic logs. This is not a track. This is not a tattletale. A lot of people go, oh, I don't want, I don't want my TCM flash to, they don't need to know how fast I'm running or if I'm over revving or if I'm, you know, I'm not going to be a watched out of the sky. This does not do that. This is strictly a log book. Nothing else. We're not being tracked on a computer and being watched. This is nothing but a logbook strictly for staying in compliance. And, it, and it's, um, I think it's the easiest one I've ever had. One of the big selling points of Keller's ELD is the fact that it's not hooked in live to Mercer. Uh, big Brother doesn't know where you're, where you're at on a given day. Uh, they, if a customer calls and says, well, where's my load at? Well. We, we have to pick up phone and call because we have no we have no point-to-point -point contact with the ELD. Uh, the contact we have with the ELD is when the driver uploads his, his record of duty status the next morning. I never dreamed that I would actually endorse electronic logging. I was one of the biggest advocates of fighting it, kicking it, throwing dynamite at it, uh, go to war over it. There's no way we need these kind of equipment killing our businesses. In reality, I found that as I looked at the technology, it became a huge asset for my business. So at this point, yeah, I endorse it. And as far as paper logs, I hope I never have to go back to them. After one year of testing this product, I'm really uh, excited about using the electronic logging device that helps me in my time control, it helps me in planning my trips, and it helps me in controlling my business so that when I do get time off and go home, I have a productive time at home with time off. I love the mental relief. Uh, we do gain driving time with the e-logs because the e-log takes and it logs by literally the minute. From the minute you leave to the minute you get there. Where paper logs, you have to take and round up to the nearest quarter hour, you stop for fuel with uh, paper logs, you have to put like at least a quarter hour on duty for fueling. Uh, E-logs, as I said, logs by the minute, and you don't have to round anything up, and you gain hours by doing that. The biggest benefit is time. I think the time management on it. You know, everyone's so used to paper logs logging quarter hours. I actually, we figured it out on paper, me and my wife, over a week's time. We literally gained four to four and a half hours. And it's because everyone's logging quarter by quarter hours, 15 minutes to fuel, 15 minutes to check a load. It doesn't take 15 minutes to go check and walk around and check your straps, chains. I, if you really do it on the JJ Keller's electric log, walk around the truck it was two minutes so I just gained 13 minutes on everybody that's doing paperwork you say three hours a week that's that's two almost 180 miles farther I can go a week it's not hurting me in my business one bit it's honestly God help me in my business you know I, I said I'm not stressed about the business I get plenty of rest about with doing what I have to do and it has not changed anything on my delivery dates, pickup dates, or anything. It's helped. On a paper log, you've got to show 15 minutes. 
for fuel. And in a year, my average time fueling has been like eight minutes. So, you know, you, in, a, in a year's time, that's a lot, of, a lot of road time down the road that you don't have to show 15 minutes on duty fuel. And uh, your um, loading time, if it's 32 minutes, well, you just got 32 minutes on there instead of 45. So, you know, you're, you're, you're making yourself hours to be going down the road. It saves you time, and when you're saving time, you're saving money. It just goes back to the myth of everyone being afraid of owner-operators. Well, the owner-operator's not going to like this. The owner-operator's not going to do that. I'm afraid of that. I can't make them do anything. They're the safest people on the road. They own the truck and trailer. They don't want to tear up their equipment. They worry about the fuel mileage. They're buying the fuel. You know, these are the people that you deal with, and it makes good business sense to them. The ownership looked at it very simply. They're owner-operators, they own their equipment. There's a lot of costs involved there. Uh, we didn't want to add another burden to them. So currently, we're taking care of all the install, the hardware uh, cost, taking that part off of them, taking care of the monthly charges that are required. Uh, most companies, and certainly owner-operator companies, are passing that cost on to the contractor. Um, it's, not, it's just one more thing that they don't have to worry about. I went back with my coordinator and we started planning, how can I control my income and my time spent creating income that it would benefit me? The first thing we did was we made a list of all of our shippers that wasted our time and all of our receivers that wasted our time. After we identified the time losses, we then looked at who was taking care of us the best, who was protecting our time, and who understood the hours of service regulation so that, that when we pulled in, they expedited us loading, unloading, and getting us back on the road. We're going out to our, reaching out to our customers to make sure they understand what that means, uh, not just you know on paper, on ELDs, the importance of getting those guys in and out uh, in, a, in an efficient way so they don't burn their entire day sitting around waiting for a load to get completed. Um, they've been very receptive to that. They certainly understand that importance, not just for them to get their freight delivered on time and safe, but for our contractors. And, and we're all in it together, so if, if we can supply the, the service, they supply the service to their customers as well. Mercer is like a family. They're not like a trucking company if you're a number. You're a, you're a name here. The CEO of this company, Del Coral, if he meets you, he knows you by name. He's not by a number. And Mercer has an open door policy to his office, to anybody in Mercer, period. We depend on these guys um, to help us be successful, and it would be ridiculous for us to not want them to be successful. Um, their success equals our success. And DOT does not mess with me. They walk up to the door, say, got electronic log? Yes, sir. And they say, have a good day. See you later. <laughs> and down the road we go. And it's just too simple. In fact, one inspector, when I showed him the electronic logs, he said, you're not the guys we're looking for. Go on. So I found that it, it's been a bonus when it comes to roadside inspections. It really has really has helped me there. Well, I'm not worried about DOT. You have to stop to get your paper logs and other things up to date. Well, I don't have to worry about that. It's up to date automatically. When I stop, I go to my on-duty status or off-duty status, I'm done. Then when I get ready to drive, I got driving, it goes back to working for me. So if the scale is 10 miles down the road and they pull me in, I'm not behind on my law. And a lot of the drivers look at it, well, I'm just gonna jump in the truck and leave. Well, 10 miles down the road, well, they didn't fill out their log. Now they're in trouble. And I'm not worried about that no more. I'm not stressed about it, period. Hey, guess what? They're not having log violations anymore. Guess what? They're planning. They're getting better fuel mileage. You know, guess what? They're not having hassles at, when they get DOT inspections. You know, their life gets better. I've been driving since I was 20, so, you know, probably 18, 20 years of driving. And um, 
I don't think I'd ever go back to paper loans. A lot of drivers that are scared of the electronic logs and I try to ease their mind on it. I tell them because of the simplicity of it, really there's nothing to be scared about at all. As I said, it, it's a lot simpler. You're not having to fill out the paper log. You just take and uh, you just drive. That's all you do. The electronic log does everything itself. When it comes to the stress level now of dealing with paperwork, I am lazy because I don't have to do paperwork anymore. All you do is push buttons and go. I got rid of 99% of the paperwork. What we've noticed is the, my wife's noticed the stress levels off of me. I don't, I'm not sitting up half an hour after we shut down at night to, to recap everything, add things up. Um, it pretty much does that for you. I shut off the truck, go to sleep for her. Of course, do your post-trip inspection first, and I go to sleep, I and mean, it's that simple. You With wait. paper logs, you're always having to monitor everything, write everything down. And with e-logs, it does literally everything for you. You don't have any worries at all. And it just that e-logs are so much simpler. That's about the best way I could put it. And the ones that have gotten into it have found that they wouldn't do it any other way. Uh, we have very few people that would like to go back once they get onto electronic logs. Uh, it, ta it takes the, the stress out of the business. Uh, the drivers that are on it now, they can get back and do what they enjoy, and that is, in, that is hauling freight. That's going around the country. We have a very tight, tightly run company. Uh, I have several hundred million mile safety award winners. Uh, we have a very low accident ratio. We have a very low driver out of service ratio. But still under CSA, it makes you look bad. If you have, you know, logs not current or form and manner violations. And we looked at that and we said, we are better than that. We have to have people look at us the way that we are. Mercer's moving ahead with the uh, electronic logs. Uh, first of all, it's the new technology out there for logs, but second of all, they're doing that because everything in this business has got scores, and like including safety, logs, and everything. And what this does, the electronic logs will maintain their safety scores as far as driver's compliance on logs. In running electronic log, you're in 100% compliance. Carriers who go to ELDs, when we were talking CSA scores and hours of service violations, the ELD eliminates two of the biggest violations that show up on a carrier's CSA score. Uh, driver duty status not current and form and manner violations. Well, those don't exist with an ELD. So that's, that's a huge advantage and it, and it really improves the carrier's CSA score. Mercer really saw the importance of uh, adding e-logs to our operation. On, on multiple levels, really, obviously, sa safety is the number one thing. Uh, compliance with CSA uh, to, to make sure that our scores stay or continue to go lower. Um, to give an opportunity for the drivers to better plan for their their day, their loads. When, when so many of the people in our peer group, the overwhelming majority, are already at ELDs, uh, we have to go in that direction, so it will reflect the company that we are.